Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all of my favorites for the month. So if you're interested, just keep watching. So starting off with beauty, as always, I tried a couple of new things from Drunk Elephant this month pretty recently but i needed to include it in this video because i love it and honestly i'm not surprised that i love it because usually i only like one or two products from a brand but drunk elephant is one of the only brands that i like almost their entire line so the first thing is their sunscreen and this is the umbra tinte physical daily defense and this has a little bit of a tint i know that i'm gonna like this a lot more for the spring and summertime than i am for when i'm like more on the fair side because this has a little bit of a tint and i think that it oxidizes a tiny 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 bit if you don't use a lot of this and you're very careful with it you should be fine but i've gone a little overboard with the amount that i apply of this and you can tell that the tint is definitely there so right now i should be fine because i went to the beach yesterday so i got a little bit of color so this is perfect because even if it does oxidize a tiny bit it still matches like my neck and everything else i used it yesterday for the beach and it did a very good job at protecting my face from getting sunburned and it has an spf of 30 which is in my opinion like the perfect amount for like daily use i've been using this cream every night this is their proteiny polypeptide cream and when i use this i just wake up in the morning and my skin looks awesome i want my skin to look even and plump that's pretty much all that i ask for in a cream and this definitely delivers i 100 notice a difference when i don't use this than when i do so this is another product that i recommend from them they recently were kind enough to send me i think it's their littles they actually sell this which i really recommend that you guys purchase this before purchasing anything else because i know drunk elephant is expensive i honestly recommend it despite the price but if you want to test out the brand then i really recommend this little it's like the littles pouch so i'll link it down below because honestly i've used like 90 percent of the products in there before they even sent it to me i've purchased from them time and time again before they ever reached out to me i'm not getting paid to say any of this but i just i really really stand behind this company i promise you guys they're good and everybody that i know that has tried them absolutely loves them too so it's not just me but yeah if you guys want to try them out i do recommend that you get like their littles so that's why i have all these little cute samples so yeah been using this almost every night and i've noticed a very very positive difference in my skin this next product i've already talked about several times on my channel but i wanted to mention again because before i even received their little package i was using this as my moisturizer like by itself and every time that i come back to using this i fall back in love with it and this is their virgin marula luxury facial oil if you're going to purchase an oil for your face and you are sensitive and oils can break you out and you don't really like heavy oils despite having like dry skin please give this a try they have samples of it and i also have the bigger version of this this is another product that you put on and you notice a difference in your skin your skin looks very very even that's the first thing that i notice with this oil with that moisturizer that i mentioned as well but that moisturizer just does a better job at like plumping this one does a better job at evening your skin and just making your skin look very very uniform which is like my favorite thing ever i get blotchiness i get redness sometimes and this oil just makes everything look uniform it's very hydrating very very gentle if you ever have a sunburn or if your skin is ever irritated for whatever reason use this and it will calm your skin down and just bring your skin back to life and final beauty product is a skincare product that i've talked about a bunch of times on my channel as well this is not new to me but the packaging is because this is the glam glow gravity mud but it's the mega size and i didn't even know they had this i was roaming around sephora the other day and i passed by the glam glow section and one thing that i've always said about glam glow is that i don't mind paying the price i just don't like repurchasing so often so i wish that they came out with more products like i wish you could buy more products so they have the mega size now and this is 3.5 ounces this is their gravity mud this is the best mask to use before you're going to like an event if you have a special event a wedding anything and you just need your skin to look beautiful radiant even 
just flawless use this and even if you don't have an event to go to just use this once a week and i promise you that you're going to notice very very nice differences in your skin like nothing makes my skin look better than when this makes its way back into my weekly routine so i know that these masks are expensive but i've tried almost every mask from glam glow and they're just some of the best out there and this is just like the best one that they offer in my opinion if you're looking for the things that i look for in masks next i have another oldie but goodie that i wanted to talk about and this is one of my all-time favorite concealers ever and let me tell you that concealer is one of my favorite things to purchase my under eyes are just they require a lot of attention and care and loving so i've tried a lot of concealers out there and nothing works better for like full coverage for me in my opinion than this concealer right here i do have another concealer that i use and it's more of like a daily concealer it's still pretty good on coverage but it's not like high coverage this is what i go for if i want like very flawless under eyes if i'm going for like heavier makeup and stuff like that or even if i'm not i can use this all over my face and it just it's it's so good but i hadn't tried their newer colors until recently and i always thought that the color that i would use before which was vanilla that's like my pale skin color but i was between vanilla and custard and custard was always too dark on me even when i was tan and vanilla i could only use when i was very pale and even then it was a little bit too on the pink side so i got this one and this is in the shade light 2.3 madeleine and this is the perfect color it's the color that i'm wearing right now i do mix it with a little bit of vanilla in order to get a little bit more highlight but this is my perfect match at the moment their shade range just wasn't that good before so i'm very very glad that they have improved it and added more colors but moving into my fashion favorites i only have two things to show you but this next thing is hands down what i am the most excited to show you and um, when it comes to high-waisted jeans as a taller girl i'm 5'8 i have a long torso for things to sit nicely on my waist they have to be very very high rise the rise has to be like 11 to 12 inches and it has to fit me small on the waist so that i don't have a gap in the back but my thighs are also very annoyingly like stuffed in a lot of these like vintage style or like vintage looking jeans so you guys know i love my redone jeans but two things that i wished redone would do was make a little bit of a higher rise specifically in their stovepipe jeans and i know that their stovepipe jeans already have a high rise but i needed a higher rise and i need something to like cinch me even more at the waist because even though i get my regular size from them it didn't cinch me the way that i wanted to be cinched you know and I finally found these. These are the Agoldi, or Agoldi, I don't know how to pronounce it, okay? Yeah, these are the Agoldi pinch waist jeans. I got a size 28, I'm normally a size US 6, and these fit very, very well. I just, I kept wearing it and wearing it, and finally, you know, it kind of molded perfectly to my body. It didn't stretch out a ton. It stretched out the perfect amount. It just like took the shape of my body. These are hands down the best fitting jeans that I've tried lately. Like the best vintage or like mom style looking jeans that I've tried lately, these guys right here. And another thing that I really love about them is the color. They are like the perfect vintage light blue which is surprisingly very hard to find. Next are my Lululemon. I, I wanna say these are the all the right places style. And I talked about this in my fitness goals for 2019 video. And before I worked with Lululemon for that video and they sent me these, I had these leggings in black, but I had them in a size six, which I'm normally a size six in like pants or everything else. But in Lululemon for some reason, size four just fits me better. I don't have to pull anything up when I get a smaller size. These fit so nicely. I wasn't crazy about them before, but it's because I was just getting them in the wrong size. I really love these because they have pockets on the side, which is like my favorite thing ever because even though I have wireless headphones, like I like to stick my phone somewhere 
on me. If you get the right size, you shouldn't have a problem with these going down. I rarely have to like lift them anymore or readjust them. You know, they're fine no matter what you're doing. So aside from that, I really love the color. I think that the only place where I experiment with color is at the gym and even then, I don't experiment that much, but this color is very, very beautiful. My next favorite is this little guy right here, which I'm wearing. It is by Majuri, of course, and it is from their new pearl line, their new pearl collection. And one of my favorite things for like the spring and summertime are things that are very like reminiscent of like the ocean and stuff like that. You know, they just look so elegant and I love how it's like a natural shape. You know, they could have easily made it into a perfect circle, but I love that they kept a very natural shape to it. And I just think that it adds so much more elegance and like rawness to the piece. It has like such little perfect imperfections. Um, you guys know that I have a problem with my water intake. I just, I'm always trying to find solutions for water, like trying to drink water as much as I can. So I got this water bottle right here and this is i think it is a gallon yeah it's one gallon and it just has like little motivational writing in the front of it i found this on amazon and they have a couple of them i thought this one was cute and it is also affordable and i don't know i i, I do find that it does help me keep track of my water intake and it does sort of motivate me you know to drink more water the only thing that i don't like about this is that when it's full obviously it's heavy which is fine but i wish that it came with a different top like this is just a pretty heavy like screw on top and you have to sort of like chug water like that so i'm gonna try to find a different top for it but other than that i do think that it is worth the money because it's pretty affordable and it has been helping me drink water so this is definitely a favorite at the moment this next thing has really come in handy for me if you guys saw my last video on how i take care of light colored furniture you would have seen this guy in action this is just a fabric shaver i have it in the box and if you guys own a fabric couch you probably deal with a little bit of pilling or a lot of pilling depends but yeah it's just it's normal the more people that sit on your couch the more rubbing and like friction is going on on the fabric so it can cause pilling and i just found this little guy on amazon and it's just a fabric shaver so you pass it over all of the pilling and it just shaves it right off without damaging your couch obviously you want to be careful with it you don't want to go over parts of your sofa that don't have any pilling to it i got this on amazon very affordable and it does work very well this next thing i'm not going to hold up for you guys because it's pretty heavy but it is my new away luggage and i've already mentioned my away carry-on but i wanted a bigger one because i am a notorious overpacker and i just i need all the space I can get. But even with that said, I got the medium size instead of the large size. And I like this because it forces me to only take what I need. So I took this on my most recent trip to Tennessee and it's like heavy winter clothes and I was able to fit everything in there comfortably. And it limited me to only take the things that I needed. I know that this is plenty of space, probably too much space for a lot of you, but I think that it is the perfect amount of space and i really love it and this is a limited edition collection but i know that they have their aluminum collection which is the closest thing to this and they also have obviously their regular like zippered uh suitcases so i can't say enough good things about away i really really do love their suitcases and my last favorite which i'm not gonna hold up because it is very heavy it doesn't look heavy but it is very heavy it is another greek bust a new addition to my home i really love adding like sculptures <laughs> to different areas of my house so i added this to the living room area and i am going to do a living room tour soon if you guys have been following along you know that i recently got a new couch so i'm currently working on getting a new coffee table and just finishing up my living room and i'll share all of the details from where everything is from in that video but i wanted to include this statue in this video because i've been waiting for it for a very long time <laughs> i think that i ordered this in like november 
I want to say like end of November or beginning of December and I didn't get it until recently so I mean I knew it was gonna take a little while because it is made in Greece so I got this on Etsy the only thing I will say about this bust is that it is very very top heavy so whenever I have a lot of people over my house just to prevent it from falling I kind of like take it down until I find a solution for it because it is very, very top heavy. So if somebody bumps into it, it can fall. So I'm gonna try to like DIY something to reinforce it at the bottom. But yeah, I still really, really love it. And it's definitely a favorite this month. And those are all of my favorites for the month. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video.